I've been down so long and look like up to me. They look up to me. I got fake people showing fake love to me. Straight up to my face. Straight up to my face. Speaking, the first product that I'm going to take is my foundation primer. And this is from Laura Mercier. And this is the Radiance one. So it gives you a nice glow underneath your foundation. The next product that I'm going to take is my brow balm from my cosmetics line. I will have a coupon code down below in the description box so make sure you check it out. And I'm just taking light strokes. I want my eyebrows to be as natural as possible today. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you will never miss another upload from me. Next I'm going to take my Hard Candy Concealer. This is a heavy duty concealer. It gives you full coverage. This is the shade tan. And I'm just going to carve out my brows using my favorite brush. This is a arts and crafts brush I got from Michaels. Next, I'm just going to blend down that concealer onto my lid area. And this is just going to act as a base for my eyeshadows. And next, I'm going to set it with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. After I do that, I'm going to move on to my eyeshadows. So the first eyeshadow I'm going to pick up is Raw Sienna and this is out of the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I'm just going to blend this in as a transition shade. I'm just going to continue to build this color up. The next shade that I'm going to take is out of the same palette and it's the shade Burnt Orange. These two colors are very similar but one is a little bit more orangier and a little bit more darker than the other but they really do look very similar so I'm just going to blend this right underneath the transition shade until I get it to the intensity that I want the next eyeshadow I'm going to take is red orchie and I'm just going to blend this slightly below the last shade that I just placed on my eyes and I'm just going to continue to buff this color in and build this color up Going to pick up another palette. This is the Tartlet and Bloom palette. I want to take these two shades and slightly blend these into my crease area, and I'm just going to continue to build this color up. So just take your time with this step, with all of the steps. I'm not really showing you how long it actually takes me because this makeup look actually took like an hour, maybe an hour and a half, and that would just be too long to show you. So I'm cutting out some of the parts, like some of the parts where I'm blending the eyeshadows a little bit more. So just take your time and blend. On my lid area, I'm going to take my Hard Candy Concealer and this is what I'm going to use to carve out my lid area. I love using this concealer because it is sticky and it takes a little bit longer to dry. Next on my lid area, I'm going to take these two eyeshadows right here. I'm going to take one at the inner corner of my lid area and the other I'm going to finish off my lid using it. So the bronzier color, I'm going to take it on the rest of my eye. To darken this look up just a little bit, I'm going to take Smoke Show and I'm just going to put this in the outer V area of my eye. As you can see, I'm using this small defining brush to do this because I just want it to be like in the outer V area and I'm just going to blend it upward just a little bit to blend in with that eyeshadow that I placed in the crease area. So I'm just going to continue to blend everything out. After that I'm going to move on to my brow bone and I just placed a light shade under my brow bone just to give me a slight highlight. After that I'm going to take my NYC liner. I know you've probably heard so many great things about this liner but it is really the bomb and it's so inexpensive and I'm going to do a wing today. I always have trouble with my wing. Oh my gosh, that is one thing that I do struggle with is doing wing liner. It takes me the longest and I really never like how it comes out. But another trick to getting a perfect wing is using tape. And if you don't use tape, you can always just clean it up with concealer like I'm doing. So I'm just taking my same concealer that I used earlier, cleaning up the um, wing and I'm just blending that concealer out. 
to cover up the discoloration under my eyes I'm just going to take that same concealer and just place a little bit under my eyes and this is going to give me a little highlight I'm going to highlight again as well you don't have to do this step especially if you don't have darkness under your eyes but I want a full coverage glam today so now I'm just taking my foundation it will be listed down below in the description box so make sure you check that out and after blending in my foundation I'm next going to move on to my concealer and these brushes that I'm using is from beauty forever I will have a link down below to where you can find them I really love these brushes they are like a dupe for the artist brushes so the concealer that I use today is my Maybelline age rewind concealer I love the coverage that it gives me this concealer is definitely bomb do not sleep on this Maybelline age rewind I absolutely love it and to contour today I'm using LA girl and I believe this is the shade chestnut so I'm just going to go ahead and blend in my concealer and then I'm just going to move on to blending out my contour so I started with lightest and then I'm going to move to darkest again if you're not subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure your notifications are on so you will be notified every time I upload otherwise you won't know unless you come to my channel now I'm just going to blend out that contour take your time with this step it took me forever to blend out this contour as you can see I just went in between different brushes just to make sure it was blended out really really well Going back in with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and this is what I'm going to use to set all of the areas I place concealer. I'm also going to take it under my contour just to chisel it out a little bit more and make it pop. And I'm just going to immediately blend that out. For blush today, I'm taking this blush from Milani. I believe this is the number 02. It's just a nice rosy pink blush, one of my faves. And for my highlight today, I'm taking my NYX Liquid Illuminator. And I love this trick, guys, to give you a bomb pop and highlight. So I first put the illuminator on because it is a liquid. And I'm just going to blend it out with my Beauty Blender. And before it dries, I'm going to take my powder highlight. And this is out of the um, Carly Bible Palette from BH Cosmetics. And it just makes my highlight pop so much more when I use the liquid illuminator first. I guess because it has something to stick to. And it just makes it pop, honey. And I love that. So that is one of my tricks. I hope you guys have enjoyed this makeup tutorial now I'm just doing the finishing touches and just adding eyeshadow underneath my lash line and after I do that I'm going to move on to my mascara and add, adding my boss lashes and then I'm going to move on to my lips so for my lips today I'm using three different lipsticks from my cosmetics line if you guys would like to check out my lipsticks I will leave the link to my website down below in the description box along with a coupon code for 20% off 20% off you better go check it out boo so this first shade that I'm taking is sweet escape it's a nice light nude if you are just now getting into lipsticks it's a really pretty color to start with because it's not it's not too dramatic at all so now we're going to go a little bit more dramatic and this is Girl Crush. This is a nice mauve pink. I really love this lip color. It's so, so pretty. And the last color that I'm going to try on today is Crazy in Love. And this is a nice purple. I know this is like really, really vibrant and it might be a little bit too much for you guys. But I have so many different other colors on my website. Just go check it out. Thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much i love you all Mwah.